Hello and welcome to VCSP How To videos. In this video, we're going to discuss restoring from Cloud Connect repository. So actually, the restore from Cloud Connect repository is really the same for for the tenant as as for restoring from on-premise repositories. So the underlying operations are slightly different, though. So when tenant goes to backups, cloud, selects the job and virtual machine and clicks restore, the restore not reaches the local repositories, but goes through the cloud gateways to the cloud repository. And as you already know, cloud repositories are multi-tenant, so each tenant can only access their folders based on the credentials they have specified when they added the service provider. And uh, so it's a secure way, it uses, you know, a cell connection, and tenant can perform uh, most of the restore options available for the local repositories the same way for the Cloud Connect. Talking about specific restore functionalities, they include full VM restore, which is self-explanatory, VM files restore, so which include VMX files, VMDK files, etc. VM guest OS files restore, and here it's important to mention that when you restore from the Cloud Connect repository's tenant, you only have access to restore Windows files. You cannot restore, perform Linux and other OS uh, file level restore. Application item restore. Here we're talking about SQL, Oracle databases. So if you need uh, to restore a particular table uh, of the particular virtual machine and the specific backup, yeah, uh, or if you need to restore an Active Directory item. So then it's Disk Expert, uh, which is practically the restoring of a particular uh, disk of the virtual machine and then probably reattaching it to some other virtual machine. Makes sense if you, for example, have a virtual file share and you only need to restore an OS disk, but your data is all right, while your OS volume you know, needs to be restored. Or Backup Expert. This one is ideal if you need to create a full-blown restore point out of the particular day. So, for example, you have VAB file as of today, but you need a full-blown VBK file. So, you, all you do is you do backup expert, and alongside with your backup ch chain, we do create a VBK file of today's uh, backup. So, let's imagine a disaster situation for the customer when you know you lose it all, you lose the whole virtual infrastructure, including the backup servers. So how to restore from cloud backups then? So it's just three simple steps, actually. Tenant installs Vim backup replication anywhere. This could be a standby installation already running somewhere. Uh, adds a service provider. So same credentials, same cloud gateway address, and so on. And then they can start restoring. So they go to backups cloud and in the brackets you see imported because those backups are not mapped to any of the job on this backup server. So then can start, start restoring their most critical VMs and bring it online as soon as possible. So as a service, you can actually provide a standby backup replication server in your own uh, infrastructure as service environment if you have one. So there are multiple options how this full-blown you know disaster recovery situation can be handled the idea is that it's just you know three simple steps in order to start restoring data from cloud connect backups even if tenant loses it all so now let's move on to the demo and see how it works in action and here we are looking at the Veeam backup replication version 11a installation so now let's perform a restore so first of all when you go to backup infrastructure you need to make sure that your service provider is added. And of course, if you're already making some jobs towards the Cloud Connect repository, then you have your provider added already. Uh, if you're again performing a full-blown disaster recovery where you have lost the whole server, um, you need to just add your, with your credentials at your service provider. And then you go to Home, Backups, and then Cloud. Here you will see all of the jobs uh, which are running towards Cloud Connect and all of the backups which were found there under your credentials. Here we have just a couple of jobs. One of them is Nutanix backup copy. Second one is VMware. So with VMware, if we take a look at this uh, this job for this VM, for example, we'll see the restore options we have already discussed. Once again, for guest files, this machine is Windows, so of course it's Microsoft Windows. However, Linux and other is not available for Cloud Connect uh, backup restore options. So as of 
application items. Let's do some restores and go to uh, Microsoft Active Directory objects. So this server is presumably a domain controller and we need, for example, restore one of the entries from the um, Active Directory database. So we select the restore point, the most recent one, then restore reason, then we click browse. Now we'll need to wait a second uh, while the connection is initiated to the cloud gateway, then the mount is performed, and then we can browse the contents of the latest backup. As you can see, it's a really quick operation, even though uh, on the back end we do initiate connection to the off-site location. So the experience itself is exactly the same as you are restoring from local backups. The few differences are that some of the restore options uh, are not available, like instant recovery. So now once it is loaded, we can see the tree view on the left. Select the objects, uh, for example, pick the groups and we can restore the whole container or we can restore a specific group if we need to. We can also export it. So all of the same restore options are available just like from local backups. Now we can close this restore session because I don't need to restore anything right now. And the unmounting process will happen. So the bottom line is that Cloud Connect Backup is really perfect for you if, uh, if a customer doesn't have enough local space to uh, meet all of the compliance and uh, governance requirements. So, for example, they need to store data for multiple years and they don't have a cheap local storage offering. So, Cloud Connect Backup can offer fast and secure storage option for your tenants without the need of opening a lot of ports between the tenant and the service provider infrastructure. Thank you for tuning in. Check out other videos in How To Series. Bye.